Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Graw, founder of Right Time Medical Care. Today our topic is tick bites and the possibility of developing Lyme disease. As many people know who live in the Maryland area, tick bites and Lyme disease are very prevalent during the spring and summer. Most people are scared to death of perhaps developing Lyme disease from a tick bite, but you shouldn't be afraid if you know what to watch for. Young children should be protected wearing long sleeves, long pants, and have their parents check them twice a day for tick bites that can occur in the scalp or private areas. When they're removed and removed within 24 hours, there's no danger of developing Lyme disease. The deer tick, which is responsible for carrying the bacteria that causes Lyme disease, is difficult to find, but when it's there, it can be easily removed using a pair of tweezers, removing it with a little twisting motion and pulling it off. We always want to make sure if it's been there for a long time that we check for secondary infection. There is not a necessity, understand, not a necessity for performing blood tests to assure that you've been exposed to Lyme disease if bitten by a deer tick. If it's in the early stages, doctors will frequently find giving prophylactic antibiotics early on and or if the characteristic rash called erythema migrans, target shaped lesion is present, we will treat the patient for 14 days with a combination of antibiotics depending on the symptoms. Most patients who develop Lyme disease will develop fever, chills, flu symptoms, but many don't. 50% of the people who develop Lyme disease have no memory of being bitten by a tick. So check yourself carefully, cover yourself with protective clothing, use bug sprays as much as you can without exposing yourself to toxicity and protecting yourself from exposure in wooded areas. If bitten by a deer tick, make sure you remove the tick immediately. Save the tick in a plastic bag. That tick can be assayed to see whether it contains the bacteria called Borrelia, which is the infecting agent. It's not necessary to have the tick assayed unless you become severely ill. Mark the calendar, watch for other symptoms. If a rash develops, be sure you see your physician immediately. If the tick has been on a short time, there is no necessity to receive an antibiotic. Another illness which most people recognize being associated with ticks is called Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. That's a bite which occurs from a dog tick. It's a much larger tick. It's the size of a pencil eraser. Um, that tick must be removed immediately as well. There are specialized tests that can be performed. The symptoms are much more severe than they are with Lyme disease. Be sure to contact your physician. Be sure you save the tick just as well so that tick can be assayed if there is concern about your health. Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever can be treated with antibiotics just as with Lyme disease. Today, I'm going to show you a vignette of a patient visit who has developed the characteristic skin rash called erythema migrans. You'll hear during the discussion the concerns about how this occurred and what she can do to manage it. Antibiotic treatment is the major therapy for either acute and or chronic Lyme disease. Be sure to talk to your physician if you have any questions. See somebody immediately if you develop the rash and or other systemic symptoms after receiving a tick bite. Hello, Hi. I'm Dr. Graw. How are you? I'm fine. I'm Josie. Hi, Josie. How are you? What brings you in today? Um, well, I have a rash on my arm that I found yesterday. Okay. And I showed it to some of my friends today, and they thought it was something I should come in for. Good. Well, tell me a little bit more about it. Is it an itchy rash? Um, no, it's a little tender. It's got a, a circle around it, and then there's a little prick in the middle. Okay. Well, let me look at you, then we'll look at the rash. How's okay. that sound? Have sure. you ever had any other medical problems that I should know about? Um, nothing major, really. Healthy. Have you had any flu symptoms or fever, chills? No. Oh, good. Okay, well, let me look in your eyes here. Okay, and we'll check that other eye now. Look right in the corner. Okay. Yeah, maybe look in your ears and throat. Okay. Open up real wide for me. Ah. Uh. Brush your teeth and they look really good. <laughs> okay, and let's look in your nose. No cold symptoms though, right? No. You look a little stuffy. Let me just have a listen to your heart. Have you had any feelings in your heart? Any pain or palpitations or anything? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, take a deep breath for me. Deep breath. Maybe a little room underneath your clothes here. Listen carefully. Good. Well, let's have a look at that rash. Where is it? Okay, it's right here. Oh, my goodness. Woo! This is just not some little rash, right? It's obviously um, quite progressed. You probably just didn't see it. It's been there for a while. It didn't happen last night, I know. Oh, really? Right. And um, luckily for you, we know what this is. It's a bite 
from a tick. The oh. tick that causes Lyme disease is a little deer tick, bites you in the center, and progresses to this very typical rash called erythema migrans. Um, with this rash, we know what's wrong with you. We can treat you with some antibiotics and you will get better. Let me just check under your arms okay. to make sure you don't have any swollen glands or anything. Well, we'll be able to treat you well. You'll take medicine for about two weeks. You can go back to see your private doctor to make sure you're better and you should not have any further complications. Great. When you go to the internet, you're gonna read a lot about Lyme disease. You'll be scared to death. But what I'm telling you today, and I'll give you a handout, the medicine we give you will take care of it. Great. Good, well, thanks for coming by to see us. Thank Great. you. Okay, bye-bye now, good luck. Bye. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've learned a lot about Lyme disease and tick bites. Clearly, an ounce of prevention can save a lot of worry. Tick bites in children commonly affect those hidden areas, the nape of the neck, behind the ears, down in the groin. Parents are obligated to check their children twice a day, wear long garments, and use insect repellent. Adults are a little more difficult. Have somebody else help check you frequently. Twice a day is the right interval to be checked if you're out camping or in the woods. Remember, antibiotics are very successfully treating Lyme disease and its complications. Early intervention after diagnosis is important. Follow up with your private physician. This has been your apple per day. Stay healthy.